Hello, coders. This is Mr. Cengiz with Code Speak Labs, and today I'm here to show you how to make a colorful disco cap on Scratch. Okay, here's what that looks like. So let me make this screen big, big, big. All right, when I click on the green flag, I have a cat, yes, and it's changing colors. And when I click on the cat, it starts going around all over the screen. And when I press the space key on my keyboard, this is what happens. The background starts going whirly whirl. So that's today's project. Again, friends, if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video and click on subscribe for to see all of our future videos. So let's get started. So friends, if you haven't done Scratch before, you're in for a treat because Scratch is a place where we can create all kinds of animations, games, and apps. And this project that I'm gonna show you today is a good one to start out with. So once you go to scratch.mit.edu, you can click on sign in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, you can just click on create to get started right away. Nice. All right, so I have a little cat here. This is Scratch the Cat. Can you all say, hi, Scratch the Cat? Yeah, yeah. And in the middle, we have our coding area. This is where we're gonna put all these blocks on the left side here. As you can see, we have all these blocks on the left side. These are coding blocks, and we're gonna move them to the middle to program Scratch the Cat. Okay, here is the first block that you need to find. Go to Events and find the when green flag clicked block. Yes, when green flag clicked. And most of the time we're gonna use this block to get our program started. So this just means when you click on the green flag right here, it's gonna do something. What? Nothing so far. So let's program that part. Next, let's go to control. And inside control is my favorite block of all time. It's called forever. What this block is gonna do is it's gonna run the same code again and again forever until the program crashes or your computer runs out of battery or you stop the program. So let's add this next block inside the forever. We're gonna go to looks next and find, you might have to scroll down a little bit. You gotta find this block called change color effect by 25. So let me zoom out a little bit and put that inside the forever. Great. That's it. Click on the green flag and you'll get a disco cat. Now you can change the number. So the 25 in here, it can be one if you want it to be very slowly changing color slowly. Or you can make it 10 if you want it a bit faster. Cool. You can make it 100. And it's really fast now. Or you can do 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, 100 million, 1 billion. La, 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 la. The bigger this number is, friends, uh, Scratch can't handle very, very big numbers sometimes. So the bigger this number is, the less interesting the animation gets. I'd say pick something between 0 and 100. I'm going to pick 10. Click on the green flag again, and you'll see your animation happening. If you want to stop the animation, you can just click on the stop, start, stop, start, stop. Awesome. So we have a changing color cap. Next up, I'm going to go to events again, and I'm going to use this block. Again, friends, this block is an events block. So that means it doesn't attach to anywhere else. It's on its own. And we're going to decide what happens when I click on this sprite when I click on the cat. So next up, let's go to control and grab my favorite block of all time, forever. And inside it, we're gonna put a lot of motion blocks. So on the left-hand side, you'll see the motion category, it's dark blue, and you'll see all the motion blocks in there. First block is move. It's the first at the top. Move 10 steps. All right, let's test this out. Let's just test it out for now. When I click on the cat, it starts moving to the right. Okay, all right. Next up, let's add this block. You might have to scroll down a little bit for this one, but really try to find it. It's called if on edge bounce. It's a really useful block and you can grab it and put it anywhere inside the forever. 
whoa, what just happened? Oh, let me zoom out. Oh, nice. Yes, now it's bouncing. It's bouncing from left to right to the left to the right, which is nice. Okay. But let's make it a bit more interesting with a turn. So go all the way up on motion. And you'll find this turn block. You can use either one, turn right or turn left. Let's grab it and put it inside the forever, anywhere. Now, when we do too much turn, it starts turning on its own. But I want to turn a little bit. So I'm going to put a one in here. And when I do that, it still turns a little bit, but not too much. So it can still bounce off the walls. Awesome. We have a cat that's going around all crazy. And when I click on a green flag, it changes colors. And if I click on it, it starts moving all around again. Great job. Next up, let's make a backdrop for this cat. Now, really focus, guys, on the right bottom corner. There's a button called Choose a Backdrop. Click on it. Yes. And in here, you can see all the backgrounds that we can pick. You can pick any of them that you want. There are tons of them. I'm going to pick Spotlight. So it's like, you know, changing colors in a Spotlight background. Really cool. Next up, let's program this background. So just like how we programmed the cat, let me zoom in here. Just like how we programmed the cat, you can also program the background. Just click on the background right here. And then you'll see that my code is gone. Oh, no. Where did my code go? I had so much code in here. Where did it all go? No worries. No worries. In Scratch, every item in your program has its own code. So if you click on the cat, you'll see that it has some code. If you click on the background, it doesn't have code. Cat has code. And the background doesn't have code. So let's put some code into the background. I'm going to say this time when space key is pressed. So this means when I press the space key in my keyboard, something will happen. Something will happen for how long? Forever. And for this one, friends, I want to choose the same block that we used to change color of the cat. It's called change color effect by 25. And now when I press the space key, the background changes color. Nice. I mean, you can use this. Yes. But there's another option that you can do. Just click on the little triangle right here next to the color and choose any other effect. I'm going to choose world just to show you. And world looks like this. It whirls the background. Uh, like a like a tornado almost. Now, if you click on the stop sign, it resets. If you click on the green flag, it starts all over again. When I press the space key, sorry. When I press the space key, it starts all over again. Again, friends, you can change the color. I mean, you can change the number of the world effect. You can make it one. So when I press the space key, it's a slow world, right? Or you can make it faster. Let's try 10. 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Yeah, let me just add a bunch of zeros here. It gets really interesting the bigger the number is. And let me show it to you like big screen. Oh, yeah, it, it gets like really, really weird with the world effect, the bigger the number is. Still, friends, I suggest you choose a number between zero and 100. So I'm going to choose uh, two, actually. Let me stop the program, click on the green flag. And it's still a oh, so Let me press the space key. And still the background whirls, but not so fast, right? All right, friends. So that's basically the project. We have a whirling background. We have a cat that changes color and bounces all over the screen. Now, you might be asking, what if you don't want to program a cat? Maybe you want to program something else. Yes. And now, friends, go to the bottom right corner and click on the little, little cat icon with the plus sign there. That's to choose a new sprite button. Click on it. 
And in here, you'll find that in Scratch, we have all kinds of characters, not just a cat. We have a bear. We have some cheesy puffs. We have some other stuff that is not loading right now. I'll choose the cheesy puffs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where did my code go again? It was right there. I had a bunch of code, and now it's all gone. Well, don't you worry. Click on the cat at the bottom. And you'll see that the cat has code, but the cheesy puffs does not have any code. So friends, as a bonus thing today, I'm going to show you a really cool trick where you can copy the code from the cat into another sprite, any other sprite that you want. So first, let's go to the cat and then grab one of the codes. I'm going to grab this one from the very, very top and then drag it over to the cheesy puffs. So now when the mouse clicker goes like a you know, like a hand, that means you can let go. If your mouse is still a pointer, then it's not going to work. Make sure your mouse looks like a little hand with a clicking action and then let go. Click on Cheesy Puffs and you'll see that it has that same code now. Okay. And let's try it out. I'll click on Cheesy Puffs and it starts bouncing all over the place. Real nice. Let's do the other code now. I'm going to go and grab this code from the very top and then move it over to the Cheesy Puffs. Click on the Cheesy Puffs, and now it has the same code. Yes. Let's test this out. Let me click on a green flag to restart everything. They're both changing colors. Really good. And then click on the cat. Click on the Cheesy Puffs, and they're all bouncing all over the place. Friends, can you make three sprites that are changing color and bouncing all over, all over the place? Can you make four, five, six? You can make as many as you want. And if you like, oh yeah, they can share projects. And if you share projects, we can check it out and see what kind of projects you made. All right, next up, friends, you're gonna click, if you're signed in, this is, you're gonna click on share at the very top if you're signed in. And you can title the project, Disco Cat and Cheetos and give your users some instructions because they don't know what key to press. So press the space key to whirl. Click on the cat and uh, Cheetos to move them. And then friends, other people in the Scratch community can like or star your project, and they can leave a comment in there uh, if they like your project. All right, so that's it for the project, friends. Again, if you like the video, please click on the thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen, and click on the subscribe button to see all of our future videos. Again, my name is Mr. Cengiz here with Code Speak Labs. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.